Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you five different side income ideas that you can do and get paid fairly fast. And also the different websites you can use to find them. So one is freelancing. Freelancing is something you can do quickly because really you just set up a profile on a site like fiverr.com. You set up your, your pricing of what services you'll do and then how much you charge for each one. And then you have add-ons, things that will maybe accelerate the time that it takes to completion. They pay a little bit more for that. You have different packages of services that you'll do. So for instance, if you go to say voiceover and then you look at some of the options here, you'll notice that it's a little bit different than a lot of freelance websites. So basically people who need a job done approach you and they pay you by the package that you offer. So if I was to go to say just the first option here, you'll notice they'll have different price points. And in this way, the freelancer has a little bit more power and the freelancer doesn't have to just go and try to apply for jobs that have been posted on a job board or something like that. Also, you can try something like Upwork, which is more the traditional way of doing freelancing. You create a profile, people post jobs, you try to get these jobs and you do that for a set amount of money per hour or per checkpoint that you complete. And then you can kind of build your profile that way. So Upwork is one that's going to have a lot of traffic and be more of the traditional way. And then Fiverr, Fiverr basically you have people that will um, kind of approach you based on what you have uh, as far as services to sell on your profile. Another thing you can do is do different websites that require a skills test instead of experience. In many cases, if you're not having to submit a resume, you can actually start getting to work faster and make some money on the side. So something where you do say transcription, for instance, where you can type out what you hear in an audio file, whether it's from a podcast episode or a YouTube video or an interview or something like that, you can Basically, if you have a certain word per minute typing speed and accuracy, a lot of times you can take a test, prove that you have the skills, and then start getting work pretty quickly. So Scribby.com is one place you can do that. If you scroll down to the bottom of Scribby, you can click Apply Now, and that'll be on the home page. It says Join, Join Scribby as a Transcriber. Click Apply Now, and then you can actually find some work if you pass their skills test. So you have... Obviously, home-based work, $5 to $25 per audio hour pay rate. And they do pay you via PayPal. Another option would be something like Transcribe Me, which is along the same lines. You type out in complete sentences what you hear in an audio file. You have to separate who's saying what, if it's an interview or there's multiple people. But basically, a typing job, fairly easy. All you got to do is pass their skills test, make sure you have a good typing speed and accuracy when doing transcription work. So click join as a transcriptionist in the top right and that's how you can get started with that. They pay up to about $22 per audio hour and they do have people who make as much as an extra $2,200 or more uh, dollars per month. They do pay you via PayPal weekly as well. Another thing you can do is rent out things you already have. So if you have something that's not being used every single day or you know you maybe go on vacation and you have a a car that you could rent out or a house that you could rent out for a few days while you're gone maybe you have an rv whatever you can rent out a lot of the things you already have when they're not being used so turo.com for instance is a way for you to list your car it's covered by liberty mutual insurance if anything happens it'll be really good if you live kind of closer to a major city but people Instead of going to a lot of the major car rental places, they might want to save a little money and then you actually get the profits by renting out your car to them. So depending on the city you live in, depending on what car you have will depend on how much you can make. But this is a great place where you can actually list your car and get paid as kind of a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, car rental service. Another thing you can do is if you're out of town or if you have a getaway home or like a cabin or maybe like a family ranch or something, you can rent out your place or you can rent out a room in your house or something 
on Airbnb for some extra money. Some people even make this a full-time business by uh, coming up with agreements with people who are looking for renters, and then they will list the house all the time on Airbnb and split the profits with the landlord. But that's another video. I actually did a passive income on Airbnb video a while back. You can look that up if you want to see more about a full-time strategy. But Airbnb is a way you can also make some extra money by listing your entire house, a maybe a guest house or maybe a vacation home or a room. Even if you just have a spare bedroom and you need some extra money, you can do that. You can also take people on experiences and you have different adventures you can do you can take people to certain hiking trails or certain restaurants in a major city or whatever and be kind of like a tour guide you also have some like rv share you can rent out your rv when you're not using it which is probably most of the time pretty much anyone i've ever known with an rv does not live in it they just have it as something that is great for going camping. And so when you're not camping, when you're at working, you're in doing your daily or weekly routine, you can have other people rent it out and do that on rvshare.com. So it's kind of like Turo except for RVs. And then you also have Pavement. Pavement is a website where you can rent out your parking space, your driveway, etc. And this is really good if you live near, say, a sports stadium or some sort of of place where a lot of events are held or near a major city and parking can usually be a hassle or expensive for most people. So pavement.com is peer to peer uh, parking basically. And you can actually list out by going host with pavement at the bottom, right? And then you can have um, your parking area listed here where people might pay you, you know, so much per day to park. Another thing you can do is odd job apps. So you have Uber, of course. This is one pretty much everybody knows. You can take people from point A to point B, and it's basically a peer-to-peer -peer taxi service type of thing. And they also have other branches as well, like business and Uber Eats and stuff. You also have DoorDash, which is one where you can deliver food, of course. And this is like, if you don't want to have to deal with awkward silences or having to talk to uh, people in your car all the time. This might be better if you're more introverted because literally all you do is you pick up the food and deliver it to the door. You get the tip and you get some more um, revenue from doing that. And I believe they increased the tips that you can get with DoorDash now because there was a little backlash you know, a few months ago about that. Now you should be able to make more than you used to with DoorDash and you can deliver food you don't really have to say anything, just like, hi, here's your food, and then leave. And then you also have something like Shipped. And Shipped is a website. It's a website where you can basically get paid to do the same thing as, say, DoorDash, except you're delivering groceries instead of delivering food. So you're doing the groceries for people. They kind of do their list on the app. You go and pick it up for people, and you get paid. And then another one that's kind of like that is called TaskRabbit. But this is more if you're like a, a person who's very handy around the house. You're good at putting things together. You can hang, hang a light fixture. You can put things together that maybe they ordered from Ikea or something. If they got some furniture, you can, say, mow the lawn for them or pick up something for them at the store. TaskRabbit is kind of like handy work around the house type stuff. And uh, they just need help with you know minor things and they just need some manpower for instance and then some of these you know they'll pay you very well per hour some of these have made seventy dollars per hour twenty five dollars per hour fifty dollars per hour doing just regular stuff that a lot of us do anyway and then you also have like tutoring and online teaching so usually you have some sort of video chat platform kind of like skype where you will teach people or tutor them so Cambly is one where you can teach English. And if you're a native English speaker, you should be able to sign up without really having much experience. And they pay around $10 per hour. And you basically, as you can kind of see in this picture here, you do like a video chat. You also have some uh, messaging you can do on the side there. And you teach people English all around the world. And then you do it from the comfort of your home. 
Another example would be to teach students English by using something like magic ears. So this is one you're probably going to be working mostly with kids, but you can teach them at 20 to $26 per hour and do it all from your computer doing a video chat style. You can work from home, flexible hours, and earn again, 20 to $26 per hour. So that's another thing. You could, usually you can get started pretty quickly if they're looking for people at the time. And you don't really have to submit a resume like a typical job does because a lot of times you're an independent contractor. So they might have like a test you take or something along those lines that you fill out. And um, some of them don't even, like I said, uh, Cambly, they don't even think, I don't think they even require you to have experience teaching, but you might have to have certain skills and maybe a certain teaching degree or maybe be in college to teach or something like that. So those are some of the things you can get started very quickly and you can make money quickly from that won't require you to keep submitting resumes and to start a business and build that from scratch, which could take a very long time. These are a lot of different types of side income you can do and actually get done fairly quickly. So hopefully this was helpful. Check out the video or playlist in the top right for more websites like these. If you wanna see more uh, options out there, and I'll see you in the next video.